Have you seen the formula success equals talent times luck? It's based on behavioral economics experiments where people literally played games, usually gambling games. For instance, if I play one hand of poker, whether I win that hand will depend partly on the talent of my strategy and partly on luck of the draw. But how big of a role does talent or luck play in ultimate success in life? In this video, I will give you five tips on how to be successful in life. First, focus on long-term success versus short-term success. One trial of something, one hand of poker, one job application, one time asking one guy or girl out is highly influenced by luck and a variety of factors outside your control. When I was in high school, I entered music competitions, and every time I would ask my teacher what he thought my chances were of winning, he always replied, it depends on who else is competing this time. Of course, it also depended on who the judges were, what piece I was playing and whether they liked it, and whether I was having a good day a range of factors based on luck. The point is, no one can win every time, so it's important to play the long game. Second, be persistent. You can increase your odds of success by increasing the number of trials, by putting yourself out there more, by trying and trying again, even in the face of failure. In high school, I entered multiple music competitions. Some I won, some I did not. But over time, I built a resume of many successes. If you apply for a job and get turned down, do not get discouraged. Keep applying, keep looking forward, be persistent. Third, while you want to be persistent, you don't want to try the exact same thing over and over if it's not working. Of course, Einstein said that's the definition of insanity. If you apply for a job and get rejected, you probably don't want to apply again with the exact same resume. Try to bulk up your resume and then reapply. If you got any feedback about your application, don't get offended but use this feedback to strengthen your application for next time. Be humble, be flexible, and be creative. Also, I use the three strikes and you're out rule. I'll apply for something maybe three times, and if I'm rejected, I'll move on. I always say if I'm turned down, that if they don't want me, it's not a place I want to be anyway. Fourth, don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's probably not best to define success as getting into one particular college or getting one specific job. Rather than one particular job, define success as having a career in your field and apply for several jobs at a range of different companies. Don't limit yourself by defining success as achieving one thing and one thing only. Fifth, it's so important to set achievable and not grandiose goals for yourself. If you define success only as getting into Harvard or getting a million dollar book deal, then you're likely to get disappointed. Very few people have this type of success. It's far better to set your measure of success as something you can realistically achieve with a good probability. So maybe instead of setting your goal as getting into Harvard, set your goal as getting into a good college. Another key piece of this is to set incremental goals. While you may ultimately want to be a writer, set your measure of success as writing a few hours every week. In sum, neither talent nor luck have a great deal to do with ultimate success in life. Persistence, creativity, and flexibility are far more important, 
And remember, you are in charge of defining success for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.